Luke chapter 4 verse 33 up to verse number 37 Luka 4 33 hadi hapo 37 This is the reading of the word of God Uko na kuwa soma gweba nchiri entakatifu in the synagogue there was a man possessed by a demon an evil spirit he cried out at the top of his voice ha, what do you have with us Jesus of Nazareth have you come to destroy us I know who you are the Holy One of God verse 35 be quiet Jesus said standly Come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down before them all. And they came out without injuring him. Verse 36. All the people were amazed and they said to each other. Remember they did not say to their leaders. They said to each other. What is this teaching? In other words we know. How teaching looks like. We have been taught for a while and several occasions. But this kind of teaching is new. When Jesus comes to a place, his kind of approach is new. There are many people that complain that my approach is not common. How can it be common when the uncommon Jesus is in it? Praise God. Now all the people were amazed and they said to each other, What is this teaching? With authority and power, he gives orders to evil spirits and they come out. With authority and power, he gives orders. So what kind of teaching was that? The teaching was orders. There is a teaching where you give instruction and, and, and the information and the wisdom and knowledge but there is another kind of teaching where you give orders. Praise God. He gives orders to evil spirits and they come out. Verse 37. And the news about him spread throughout the surrounding area. Everyone went everywhere saying he has given orders. Now praise God. What do we learn from this? We learn four things. How many things? Four. We learn four things. Number one, from the act of Jesus, we learn that it is illegal for demons to be in the synagogue. Because if they were supposed to be there, you could have not given orders. By virtue that Jesus gave orders, it's a clear communication that it is illegal for demons to be in the synagogue. Our current synagogue is sanctuary. If there will be any demon in this sanctuary, it is illegal. You can not demons and identify them by the problems people face. Because demons are the originators of trouble and problems. Praise God. Are we there? Yes. So number one we learn from what Jesus did that it is not proper for demons to find a place in the sanctuary. That's why he drove them out and left the sanctuary intact. We learn that. Number two we also learn that as long as the gospel is absent Demons are in the synagogue legally. Am I communicating? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. As long as the gospel is absent. As long as there is no power. As long as there is no authority. Any demon that finds himself in the synagogue is there legally. Number three. I'm not talking about synagogue alone. I'm also talking about a life of a person. If the gospel has not occupied you fully, 
any demon present in your life is not illegal. And it is the gospel that makes demons illegal occupants. Number three. Say number three. Demons only respond to the message of power. Demons only respond to the message of power. You know, am I teaching now? Are you learning? Demons only respond to the message of power. Any other message can be listened to by the same demons. You know that Paul told Timothy that in the last days people will move from the faith and they will believe the teaching of demons which will be taught by men. Uh -huh. There are men who are teaching a message without power and that message is being sponsored by demons. Any message that, 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 that does not carry power, there is a likelihood that the sponsor is a demon. The only message that demons cannot sponsor is the message loaded with power. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Number four, we learn that when the gospel comes to set a person free, it does not only set you free, but it also guarantees you protection. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible says when the demon left the man, it did not injure him. He said when you shall be casting out devils, they will not harm you. That means when the gospel comes to expel the demons, it also comes to protect those who are set free. After today, as God is setting you free, and the gospel is setting you free, you will also be protected. Hallelujah. Praise God. And that is the reading of the word of the Lord. Amen.